Okay, so welcome in this new hands-on. So here we are on the master ridge, but this time we are host. That means that we will plug a USB stick to our board. We should detect it for sure. Then we will write on it, read on it, such kind of thing. So we have to deal with the FATFS. We are the host, so the, it's the host side that will take care about this. So here just what I've said, so as previously explained, we will use the SCSC uh, command usage on the, on the lower part. Uh, so just a little warning about flash stick. Most of the USB flash stick are not certified. Why we underline this in this hands-on? Because we have some, I would say some requests from customers say, okay, it's working with this flash stick and not with this one. It's because many flash stick don't respect fully, uh, I would say, the norm. So you have to adapt your software to ensure that it's working. Uh, some customer complain and say, oh, on Windows, they indulge all the flash stick. But I will say they go out of spec. So maybe if you have a flash stick that is not properly detected or things like that, you have to analyze the signal, analyze what is the traffic uh, on the bus, because now you know how to see it and try to modify the, the stack if needed. But that's an, maybe another topic. So let's start with uh, this hands-on. We don't start from scratch. I mean, I already prepare for you the first steps that are always the same. So I just show you what I prepared. So I created the CubeMX project for sure. I selected that I'm in full speed. I'm the horse mode. I use the HS, so the external crystal, you know, for the quality that's needed. I think you will remember this point. We also configure one button. That means we will use the user button of our board just to trigger what we want to do on the USB stick. And I think that's it. Okay. LED and GPIO, not how it does. Um, so we select the communication class, so master age one. Oh, sorry, there is a mistake in the slides, not communication host, but master age one in the middle where. Uh, we configure the FAT, FAT file system on USB stick for sure. So we say, okay, we are with FAT SS, USB stick. That means we will generate, Kubernetes will generate already uh, everything integrated. That means your uh, FATFS is linked with a USB and you are sure that you can just create a file with fopen. We will see this in this hands-on. In this, uh, on the SEC clock and the USAT 3 that will be used to just to, to, to get out some traces. Okay, um, other things I already prepared to you. Remember we have to connect the PG6 just to the power delivery. So it has to be done. Then I generated a project with this MSC uh, host. So you already have the zip, so you can unzip it. So just show you that I increase the hip and the stack. Always the same issue, it's something you have to remember. What I already done is the driver of the Webus. So I just added this uh, pin enable and disable when we detect it, just to drive the, the level of power. And after, this is our exercise. So let's switch to Hatolik now. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's good. So first, let's import our project to import from an existing project into workspace, as usual, I would say. We have stored in the USB training hands on Milano and on air. So just import like me, nothing else to be done. Okay, so what we've got in the code generated, let's have a short look. So, as usual, the main, the middleware, we've got the USB host, we've got the FATFS already con uh, generated, so configured. We've got, have on the main storage previously, the core, 
with all those, and a master which classes with the SCSC command that will be used. So nothing new here, uh, just in our part, what have been uh, generated as usual the usbh underscore com file which is the interface with the lower part with the upper driver the host and the, this file who is a mapping I would say between the fatfs and the usb command you can just have a short look here so here we just define um, the different function that will be used by the fatfs and for uh, let's switch to the header maybe it's um, oh sorry I have difficulties to switch to headers, uh, toggle headers okay just to have a short look in it so here we will define these structures which is the one that will be used by the FATFS so we need to have the disconnectionalize this status this read this write okay so it's exactly what is done in this file and we just mapping to this function and if we go in it for the read we are using the USB H MSC read and MSC write so all the things that already declared or we see in the USB stack okay so let's come back to our project and let's see what we have got to do so here we still have our list of tasks to be done so three tasks here uh, what is the purpose of this hands-on so as i say we will detect the usb key but this is already configured and when we detect it we will have to mount the file system and then when i push on a button on the blue button the purpose is to create a file writing in this fly in this file read it back and just compare if it's match and just do some traces okay so for that we will need to modify the project i delivered to you okay let's be a little clean up so first we got on the usb host uh, just this one so we are in the host process and this is i will say uh, the main function that is uh, regularly uh, called and you've got the different state of your application so here we've got the connection the application is ready so now we just have to um, to mount the file system for sure okay so something i will say try roll or i will say it's more um, what we've done in when we are want to use the fartfs system so okay uh, I just give you some clue. We've got already defined on variable USB path, so you can find them in this file if I will remember. Okay, so the FATFS system, we've got the variable. We already have the USB path which uh, already uh, declared with a good value. So let's go again to what we've got to do. Okay, so here. Let's do it together. So, I don't know if you are familiar with um, with FATFS, but we just need to F mount. Uh, F mount. The first argument of F mount will be the uh, USB uh, file system. So USB H. Well, we just copy it because I'm a lazy guy. Here. Then we have to give. Um, the USB path and just the last parameters it was just to save synchro note if I will remember let's see if I can find it open declaration option by do not moon delete moon or moon it immediately I will say in our case we can just delay the mount when we will access it so just zero okay let's take check that it's okay so we have some return code for sure and it was the f uh, r okay so if it's different from okay that's mean we've got an issue so maybe we could 
there, write something on the road to say, okay, it was not working properly. Let's reuse this syntax. Now let's write a little message let f mount fail. F mount fail. Okay, I think that's it. So here we're just mounting the system. Okay, so that was the first step. Second step. Here we are in the main. So the main. We've got the init, the system clock, the different initialization of the different, I uh, will say, layer or uh, components. And after, we just have this while where we've got the host process that is a regular call. And here, it's not something very clever, but we will just add a um, call to this function. This function is the user function that will, uh, will check the current uh, button status and do if you need to do some things. Let's see what's happened here. So here we just need to do, add this call. So something not very clever, oh sorry, not very clever, but it's just to show you when this function is called. That means it was in the main loop. So something really bad is here. Um, I already declared it for you for sure. So let's see now what we've got in this function. And this is the third step that we have to do. Here now we will write what exactly we want to do in our application. So in the user function we just check the pin C11 uh, which is the button. So when the button is pressed, we will execute this code. Um, I just have a, a directive just not to compile this part because as you can see, you have to complete uh, a chain, a string, sorry. So you have to modify this to do the action. So first, let's activate this part of the code just to ensure that we manage to do it. And then now we will uh, complete the, this file uh, just to do the different modification we need to do to ensure that we manage to open the file and such kind of things. So let's complete the skeleton. First, we need to open the file. For sure. So here, the have open function. The first argument will be uh, the file name. Um, so here we've got is my file i should have declared it for you if i will remember yes the structure okay so this will be the pointer on it then we need to pass the name of the file already prepared it so as you can see we've got a counter that means when you will create more than one file it will be name one two three and such kind of things so, uh, the name of the file. Then, uh, is there another argument for the fopen? Um, yes, we have to select if what we will do. If we, we open it in uh, write, read, if we want to create it always, if it's already existing. Here we've got some special flag in, um, in FATFS, which is file create always. So, that means if it's already uh, existing, we will create it again. Um, then we want to be a write access because the first action we will do is just to write in this file. For write. I hope I spell it no, not properly. Okay, I just check. Okay, write, open existing, creating new, creating always. I think we've got the good flag here so okay and let's check that uh, it's not different from FLK so now if we've got an issue we've got this message cannot open file if it's okay now we are in this branch so the file is created within the traces so first let's write something in this so you can use the variable w uh, text and by treatments 
that have been declared for you with this text that will be uh, inside the file that you created. So here we just need to do an F write. So now we have to path the argument. Oh, I forget it was an address of it. Yeah. Sorry about it. So let's pass the structures of the file. Then the text we want to write and the size of it. Size of double uh, text. Okay. So this function will return the number of bytes that have been written. So let's use this function. I hope it's okay. Let's check the prototype. Okay, the pointer on the file object, the buffers, and oh sorry. <laughs> okay. It's not a written error, it's just written in Written okay, it was a FR key. So the return value will be stored in the race that we will test just after. Okay, so now um, just want to be sure if we need dump cast USB. Okay, and this one. What is exactly the prototype? And it should be okay. Okay, so just let's close uh, the file now. So just do a tap. Close my film. Then we check the number of written bytes, if it's equal to the row, and if it's okay, then we can open it again and just read it. So I would say mainly the same that the F open that is here, but this time we will just do it. Uh, Let's do it, but just in a read mode. Could be passed. So here the purpose is really to show you that all the fat FS should be under in this part. Uh, so now you can drive just created files. It's quite simple. So okay, so the F open now will be in the read mode. So just F read. No need to create it again for sure. Okay, file open fail. We've got a message error. And if it's well done, let's read it. So let's put the read. F read. Ich M file. With I will see the same structures. Then the um, air text variable can be used. Then uh, we will erase size of text. Okay, and then we just need to know the number of by that have been written. I think I've missed something here. Sorry about it. Okay. If that's okay now, I just double check and read it again, just to be sure. No, 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 do, 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 do. Right, I transmit. Okay. So I think it should be okay. Read and just do the F close again. EM file. Oh, 
okay so let's try to compile I hope I forget nothing but nearly should I should have okay let's build it should be a we should have some some taxi roll or I will be really surprised okay let's increase the size of the windows just some warning okay good I can feel that something is not good there and declare okay so I should have not write it okay it's not a GA but FE I think okay on this one what I've done my fail I miss a O okay over the one thing okay let's check okay so ghost warning I still have okay I miss this one this time yeah and the others have been written file I hope it's the last bug okay you the function so now I haven't I still have an issue there it's not a natural half but just a half for sure sorry for all this syntax error on my side I do it in live okay I probably misspelling this so and now it should build I hope so yes this time it's okay okay so sorry for all this uh, issue when I just uh, write the different things as all the developers and it's not very easy on the PowerPoint side but okay now it should be okay let's download it on our targets okay so typical connection and now I launch it so first I will let's switch to first let's check which route we need to do okay so in your system just check okay the virtual compose is 87 and let's use to a term already connected to the good and let's see what is uh, configuration for the serial ports okay both rates good so everything should be okay so now uh, let's plug the USB stick on our board so we need a hundred letters for sure but if you got it just plug it and if I plug the USB key we've got application ready so that means now the application detected remember we mount the file system and now I will push on the blue button okay so a file has been created verification is okay win number part is equal if I push the button again we create a second file um, okay I unplug the USB key and um, now I will plug it on my PC just to show you what I've been created okay so if I show you here we've got the remove disk and you can see those files that have been created with sorry USB or slippery mass storage example so I think it's working 
So that's it for this answer. So what we have seen that thanks CubeMX, everything is generated very properly and very quickly. Um, we just need to do some, I would say we can just use it, frankly speaking. You have seen that we've just managed to do everything. We just don't do, just write something to access uh, a file system as usual. So nothing specific here. Uh, I will just come back again on this. Just think all the flash tick are not certified. Just remember this for sure is the message of this uh, on the on also. And as you learn during the theoretical part now, you know how to check what is on the line, uh, what it failed during negotiation or such kind of things. Okay, thanks. That's all for this hands-on.